no lie i think this is like the most seamless ball cap method i've ever done <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Charmel. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I install this 13 by 6 lace frontal wig from Eunice Hair. This is the curly texture. All the details on this wig will be down below. In this video, I'm also going to be showing you guys how I use the new Gots To Be Free Spray to adhere my wig. Before we get into it, I had to jump on camera and do a quick intro and sort of a disclaimer because the results that you see at the end of the video is not what I have now so basically i initially installed this wig about five days ago i definitely struggled with the lace i had that really light ashy cast and i did bleach the knots i did tint my lace i used all the methods that i use when i do any other wigs but for some reason i could not get this lace to match my natural skin color i tried using makeup it was just a mess it looked really wiggy it looked really amateur so I did go off camera and I installed an adjustable band to this wig. I changed my part from a side part to a middle part. My ear tabs aren't tagged down, um, but yeah, the middle part kind of hides that. It hides any unnecessary lace. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind that the lace will look weird in this video. I'm very aware of it. I didn't like it myself. But everything else that I stated in this video, I still stand by all of that. It's so just, I don't want this intro to be too long because this video is probably going to be long on its own. So yeah, definitely keep watching. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And let's get into this tutorial. Um, today I'm working with Eunice Hair. They sent me this curly lace front wig. I'm also going to be trying the new gots to be high high instant hold hairspray i think i'm just gonna do the ball cap method excited to try this spray because a lot of people say that it dries fast and it holds really good so we are about to find out. And so while that's drying, I'm just going to take some powder. I did also bleach the knots on this. The knots kind of look like they were pre-bleached, but it was kind of spotty, like some areas looked bleached, some areas didn't. So I ended up going ahead and just um, going over and bleaching them myself. So, all right, so it's pretty much dry. That is one of the reasons I could never really get with the, the glueless method with the yellow can because I feel like it would just always take so long to dry. I did go ahead and use my blow dryer on a cool setting just to ensure that it was dry but yeah this dried pretty quick and it's on there So I'm going to take that same brush. No lie. I think this is like the most seamless ball cap method I've ever done. So I'm just going to take some witch hazel and clean off any like stickiness around my hairline. So now it's time to put this wig on. I 
taking my Luster's um, slick stick and I'm just going to slip this hair back. I did pluck this hairline too. It came pre-plucked, but I did um, do my own plucking. I'm going back in with this high insta hold spray and I'm just pulling on the lace and I'm spraying like right on the lace. Alright, so now I'm just going to take an elastic band and tie this down for a little bit. Let that melt. Alright, so my headband has been sitting for about 10 to 15 minutes. Here's what we have. It's very stiff. <laughs> I'm going to do, these are going to be like my baby hairs, so I'm just going to cut these now. So I'm just going to brush those hairs back so I can cut the lace. So I cut most of the lace off, but I still have that ashy cast from this, the lace color. Um, but I'm gonna go in and fix that after. All 
all right so i did kind of od on these baby hairs on this side mainly because i was trying to camouflage this lace a little bit so if you don't like super extra baby hairs then always know that baby hairs are a preference you do not have to do this but again i was not feeling this lace so i was just kind of going overboard And now I'm just taking some of my face powder um, and just trying to add some color to that lace so that it blends in with my skin. And on camera, it doesn't appear that bad. Like, I'm looking at this footage now and it's like, okay, it's not too bad. But in real life, guys, that lace, it, it looked terrible, okay? I'm just being honest. People get on camera and they lie and they tell y'all that the lace is nice and all those other good things. And I'm just being honest, y'all. This lace looked terrible in real life. On camera, it looks decent. But in real life, how it was styled like this, I just kept looking in the mirror and all I saw was lace. <laughs> Alright, so I'm here with my final thoughts on this Got to Be High Insta Hold Spray. Um, as someone who does not prefer to glue her units down, I don't really wear frontals because I don't usually like the way most adhesive feel. But I will say that this has a good hold and it doesn't feel like, like I could feel it, but it isn't like uncomfortable. It dried very quickly. That's another thing that I usually hate about gluing my units down is that it just takes a long time to dry it's just so much that goes into it but this is pretty good for the girls who want to get it done and over with quick so i do see myself using this more in the future as for this wig again this wig is from Eunice hair it is a 13 by 6 lace frontal um i love the hair overall this is the curly unit it's an 18 inches overall i love this hair it's soft it colored very nicely i'm not crazy about the lace like i feel like on camera you guys can't tell but the lace definitely has like that ashy cast to it so and it's like i have to i tried tinting it it didn't work i put you guys see me put like pow, um powder on it and then you know i just kind of blended it with my makeup but yeah i'm not crazy about this lace but the actual hair and the construction of the wig is very nice this lace is just not brown girl friendly so um yeah that's pretty much it for this video i hope you all enjoyed if you have any questions comments concerns let me know down below i'll try to link all the information in the description box and i'll see you all in the next video